It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. A December chill is in the air coming off of Lake Erie. But folks here bundled up, ready for football at Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it will be the New York Jets taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gunn joined as always by my partner Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, these Browns, no other way to say it. They took a step back last year. Now, what do you think that they need to do to get back to the playoffs while competing in a tough AFC North? They need to get back to the identity that their head coach established a couple seasons ago. A hard running game, consistent play from their quarterback, and then they have new management on the defensive side of the ball. They'll try and get after you in the pass rush. Well, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are. Remember, going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Here's the punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And a quarterback, a longtime signal caller in the National Football League, former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. Remember when the conversation was, is Joe Flacco elite? Well, at one point, he was elite enough to not only win a Super Bowl, but be named the MVP of that game. And for a time, one of the top paid quarterbacks in the league. Not bad for a young man who transferred to Delaware from Pitt while in college. This guy has had a great career, not many chances now to lead an offense, but still capable if put on the field. This will be caught downfield by Noah. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. Now it's Flacco. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name. But I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense, and now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Now second and nine. Again, they turn to Ford. Brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a 10-yard gain there to set them up first and goal. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Up 
So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Hunt. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Brandon, now we find out what their definition of commitment is. They've run it on the first two plays. Do they come back and do it again? They're that much closer to getting into the end zone. Yeah, inching closer and really knocking on the door now. Again, it's Hunt. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Dustin. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Hopkins' kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And this take it in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They will start this drive with four. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said, what is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know 
they don't have to hold their blocks for very long, as one of them told us. If I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Bootleg, Flacco. And incomplete. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. This is Ford. off to a great start here in this first quarter. It seems like this defense is probably going to have trouble containing him. I would agree with that. I love the observation. And here's the thing. Their game plan coming to fruition. You knew that they came in thinking that they could run it, and now they're proving that they can and doing it in a big way. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. here it's third and goal they'll try to run with Hunt and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two yard line only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it, and I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's in. six points an early decision point here Charles maybe one we'll look back on later they go on fourth and goal and they punch it in for the touchdown we always talk about how football is a game of confidence and that's how you get it right there leave your offense out there and tell them I believe in you and they pay it off with six points Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Wilson. 
And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Now a second and ten. There's Wilson to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in there and brought him down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. Shreds him with a stiff arm. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. 42 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete, and once again, it's Cobb. So the completion good for seven there, and that will bring up second down. Here's Wilson. And that one to the right side and incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw again as Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now it's Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. A first catch there for Wilson and a first down. Looking to throw, Wilson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Wilson. Yeah, he's got it. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Cook will score. Touchdown, New York. 
And this is where you can't help but think about our friend, the coach, the late John Madden, because this was his kind of football right here. Line them up and let them get after it down in the trenches. And as a running back, you just need that one crease, one sign of daylight. He finds it and he barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, coach, just like you would draw it up. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 at seven now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. To pass, Flacco. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Flacco looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good protection there on third down. This is just a simple flip to his tight end outside the numbers. He's able to haul it in and pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Flacco fakes the give, sets to throw. And this is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. Operating off play action, Flacco. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Browns. Amari Cooper, 48 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment for the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, 
that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a tough turnover there as now they will have it at the six-yard line, first and goal. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You're a little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Is that his name? No, I just go with the meteorologist. Said it was a day game. I'm here. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They go play action now, Wilson. There's a short one caught by Uzama. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. 
They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That's complete right side to Lazard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Cook running right. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss. Not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Now a second and six. Now it's Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Wilson. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Throwing is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Zach Wilson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to cut into that deficit. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard. But now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Sirline connects on the extra point, and the lead down to 10, 24-14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Escapes the defender. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. They may want to go back to that one. 
the first play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They run with four. And he's going to have a Browns first down as good running gets him to about the 44. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Now Flacco. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On the ground, it's Ford, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohork has to punt. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 11. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Here's a second and five. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Now Wilson. To the left side, complete. That's Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. From the 28, it's second and five. To throw is Wilson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. the gun it's Wilson and this is going to be incomplete not much going on this drive looks like they're going to have to punt it away CD and right now I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up get away from what he's been calling sometimes you just need better execution 
execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Cleveland offense making their way out. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Jermaine Johnson there to bring him down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Flacco. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Passing play, Flacco. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. First and 10 here for Flacco. He'll find Goodwin here on the right side. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. That one a first down pickup of eight. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Flacco will take to the air again. That's complete to a speedy right out Goodwin. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. First and 10, and Flacco looking to throw. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Flacco. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Amari Cooper, the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. Once more, it's Flacco to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, but now it's third and goal.
Now it's Flacco. To the sideline and incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Hopkins kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Offensively, pretty good execution. Long drive, choose up the remainder of the first half clock, and they finish it off with three points. And what's the best byproduct of the whole thing besides the fact that they got points on the board? They didn't leave the other team any time to mount a drive themselves. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Look at him go inside the 30. And he takes it the distance. No time remaining. No cloth on the field. Yeah, no flags, and it's a kickoff return to end the first half. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 26. And he's gonna get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Here's Wilson. Finds Lazar quickly on the slant. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Wilson going to keep it on the option. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. 
and that's another big time run and it sure looks like the leverage game is being won by the offensive line they're the low man on just about every snap and they're winning pushing back the defensive front and creating great space for their runners here's a quick throw out to Wilson and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. From the 34-yard line, here's a second down and four. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. On first down, right back to Hall. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Miles Garrett, the all-pro defensive end there on the stop. Second and six at the 12-yard line. Second down and six now. They'll go again with Hall. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Six on the pickup there as the drive continues. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll run with Hall. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front give him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Zerline connects on the extra point and that will put them on top here in the third. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. On the return, here's Jerome Ford. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. And a short pickup to about the 25. From the 25, here's second and six. Setting up to throw, Flacco. Man open, it's Goodwin. 
And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? This would made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now Flacco. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Looking for and finding Amari Cooper again. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. The handoff to Ford up the middle. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Again, they turn to Ford. First down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down, four. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Browns touchdown. Take it, a third quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they turn that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Flacco looking to throw for it. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. It got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep giving it to him and let him do his work. <laughs> it's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Now Hall to start the drive, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. On first and 10, it's Hall. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Here now a third and 20. Wilson. And that is incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. <laughs> that's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. He's got a man complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Elijah Moore, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Browns are able to stretch out their lead. When you start at your own 20, oftentimes defenses play you for the run. They stack the line of scrimmage. They decided, let's not run into that mess. Let's get outside, get to the perimeter, go high, wide, and handsome, and throw that bad boy downfield. Beautiful ball, good catch, and then it was off to the races, one play and in the end zone. Extra point good by Hopkins, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now out come the Jets. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and 10. Now Wilson. 
He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A dependable running back is a coordinator's best friend. Someone you can trust in those situations to push forward and get the yardage you need however possible. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Throwing is Wilson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yep. Wiley. Oh, definitely. All the veteran names. You name it. Has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he can make that type of a catch. Right, he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. The Browns drive about to get started. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. This second and four. To pass, Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. They call this number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. This thrown quickly out to Cooper. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Play action, Flacco. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Quinnen Williams able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. Now 
And this offense on third down today, they're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 15. Under pressure, they got him again. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. On the counter, it's Hall. Room here to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Dance class, anyone? <laughs> Did you see the steps between the quarterback and the running That's back what you on need that counter for a good play? counter. You have to have it because you're setting up your blocking. There's a timing element as well, but they have to marry up their steps. Otherwise, that timing gets thrown out the window. Timing was great there and a big run. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's second and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. job defensively taking away his receivers and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie but that's what good quarterbacks do they don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to so now third and ten a big play to start the drive but nothing since to throw is Wilson oh, he had him he was open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds and they'll spot it right at the 20. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. This is Ford. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 134 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here now, second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ford, and only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Third and three. Here's Flacco. And that will be incomplete. 
We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. The drive will start with an option going left. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Here's Wilson. He dumps this one off here to Hall. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Short completion, just four yards. And it brings up third and five now. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. On first down, Wilson. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Second and 10. Now it's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Flushed out right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Here's 
towards Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play that time on the catch and run. And this long drive is going to continue as they move the chains again. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. Running left, it's Hall. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run, but it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. The dog pound barking as loud as they can here. Third down. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They will start this drive with four. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get through and protect the ball. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Four. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Taken at about the 13-yard line here. 
So here's Wilson and the Jets down by five. A minute 36 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Now Wilson. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Under 90 seconds to go. Here's second and 10. Here's Wilson. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Wilson. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Throwing now is Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Huge first down. Got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. That's caught by Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll come up first and ten here. Wilson to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Back to throw. the two-minute draw the big key to me make sure you understand your assignments and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds get them on the ground this definitely four down territory at this point but a critical third down here they'll look to throw But to go. Here's fourth down now. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. To Anigo's Flacco, and that should be it. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.
It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.